I think we've done that too many times. You know we've done that too many times. Oh, welcome back to the show. Uh, through rock and rolls, can I intro that? Yeah, go for it. Through rock and rolls, illustrious past, a lot of bands have adopted the names of animals, like the animals and the monkeys, exploding white mice, Buffalo Springfield, and of course, who could forget, the poodles. <laughs> and the latest band to take their name from an animal are the hippos. From the aforementioned band, please welcome Les, Vlad the Impaler, Karski, and John Fowler. Guys, how are you? Les, I won't ask you about Vlad the Impaler because I don't think this is the sort of program no, it's, for it's it. a family show, this one. Guys, how are you both? Oh, just Jim Dan. You're looking fine. Now, I, I guess, basically, you guys save a lot of money in hairdressing with the band. We certainly do. Is that true? Oh, yes, we do. That costs you more money, though, in the long run, they're getting it more shiny like that, though, doesn't it? Yes, it's the lubrication involved to keep this finish. Is, yeah. All the makeup tends to start here and finish. <laughs> but where'd you get the name The Hippos from? Oh, no excuse. Hypocrites. <laughs> Hypocrites. <laughs> but, because uh, you guys are basically, uh, I mean, a pub band. Ways, I mean... Yes, when we're not playing in one, we're usually in one anyway. <laughs> yeah. As big it, as you give. it sort of started as a, as a sit down, Max. Sorry, right? mate. Just I'm, just, sit no, back. I'm enjoying. Just think like you're in a doctor's surgery. Oh well, it started about three. <laughs> Are years you here ago. for the tests <laughs> yes. too? Um, now, you actually started as a pub band. Just you th didn't. You, um, you, you weren't looking at sort of instant stardom internationally because I know you guys are actually getting airplay now in beautiful France. Really? Is Good that? Man. I mean, they were the last to know, of course. Yes. But I mean, what's it like, sort of, just getting together a fun pub band and suddenly realising that you've actually got to take it seriously? Well, it happened sort of rather gradually, so I didn't, didn't really notice it. Mm. Oh, are we taking it seriously? <laughs> no. <I'm> no. <laughs> well, you were late, so you're not taking it that seriously. <laughs> <laughs> now, John, you used to work... Um, I remember seeing you first playing with Jojo Zip and the Falcons. Mm -hmm. and, and, I mean, basically the whole band, because, Les, you, you've come from a, a number of bands. Super something, I think it was. <laughs> Les, Super Charge. But, I, I mean, working with a whole bunch of, uh, of guys that have been in the industry for so long, that must make it a hell of a lot easier. Uh, Make what easier? Well, I mean, <laughs> getting together and playing, you've got no worries, you know, all the yeah. chords. Well, just about made... Them. I wasn't going to say <laughs> chords. <laughs> We've made just about all the mistakes there are to be made, but um, we'll work on a few new innovations if mm. we any possible. But, uh, when did you realise that you wanted to spend your whole lives being rock musicians incredibly sought after, you know, by girls and, and you know, bill collectors, that sort of thing? When, uh, when did you think, this is the this is the business for us? When nobody else would give me a job, I think. <laughs> But do you have, like, formal education in, in real jobs? Um, not really, no. <laughs> no, I no. can tell that. But you guys, let's face it, the sex symbol image with you guys is very big. Uh, oh, how do you boy. find it with the screaming girls and that sort of thing? No, oh, it's... Take but, it in your stride? Yeah, just as long as you keep it quiet. You know, so. <laughs> well, Les, you did have a real job, though. I mean, you are sort of, like, playing it very low-key. You, you've done a lot of producing for people. A, bit, a fair bit, yeah. Well, the spies are actually coming on very shortly. And, oh, uh, no. Uh, do you want to hang around for that, by the way, Liz? Or? I might have to. <laughs> okay, if, if I could just uh, move you, I could just remote, because I'd like to get a plug-in for Jet Set. No, no. Uh, <laughs> get a, uh, a shot of the cover on, if we could. Uh, oh, is that the Butte magazine in there again? Oh, damn. There, Has it surprised you the way Dark Age has caught on? Because it's been played all over the place. Yeah, it's weird. I it was only supposed to be a pilot for the album. But... Yeah. Uh, I mean, because what was your intention of putting the band together? I mean, was it just a good time thing? Or... Yeah, it was a hobby. Yeah. When we started off. And it's... Pay off the bar bill. Yeah, and, it's, <laughs> and then it turned on us. Because yeah. had you guys known each other for a long time? <clears throat> um, well, we'd met... Don't no, <laughs> I'd rather not, as mm -hmm. well. No, we met in passing so it's real, back at the... Like, yeah. Uh, back in the Supercharge Victoria in mm. Australia once, and then we... Uh, then some horrible twist of fate has drawn us together again. Yeah. Well, guys, let's say... Let's throw your mind into the future. Say, oh. five years into the future, where do you think you guys, apart from swimming together on the back of the cover, I'm a bit worried about that, where will you guys be in, say, five years' time? Probably intensive care, I think. Right. <laughs> intensive care? <laughs> Still making music in intensive oh, care? Of course. With those nice little jackets that wrap around the back? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just uh, hang around, because we, we do want to enjoy some cappuccino with you. And you are on tour at the moment, aren't you? Um, well, we've just been to Melbourne and Adelaide. We're around Sydney for the next month, and then in September we're going up into uh, Queensland. Oh, it's beautiful up there. We've mm. just got back. We've still got suntans. We, we have a great time. <laughs> speaking of uh, Queensland and speaking of uh, things different R&B, the Dark Ages. Mm. They were in Queensland, but now they've moved, to, of course, to <laughs> South Australia. Here they are. This is the Hippos and the Dark Ages. Stick around, guys. Fantastic. Food will be here in a minute.